Hi everybody. Today we're gonna start a new series of videos regarding Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis Professional. And throughout this course, we're gonna be used to uh, making new structures and uh, or structural elements like beams, columns using this software or industrial building like um, steel building using this software and according to that we can analyze and get uh, different tables and also we can get the uh, shop drawings or drawings okay let's start our uh, series or our tutorials uh, from the new we have uh, these options we can choose from them these are the types of structures that we can choose for most users, the first one is, is the most used one because it contains everything regarding the RC. Okay, uh, other ones will be explained uh, on different videos, but the most used one is this one for complete buildings or this one for uh, single items like a single column or beam or slab, something like that. So let's start with the first one to set the uh, settings so as we see this is the user interface and we can customize it as we wish so let's start from here from the bottom left we have this button, we choose it, we click it, we get the snap settings. These settings are just similar to that, to those found in uh, AutoCAD. You can choose which one uh, to be activated or disactivated and close them. Okay. And from here we have different things like uh, here we have uh, 2D wireframe or realistic or something like that for views. So first of all, let's let's know let's explain how to uh, open a file or uh, create a new file. So new project is from file menu. We have new project as we did uh, firstly. Or 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 we can open a current project from here if you have on your desk or your desktop something like that and uh, here we have different menu uh, different options like screen capture and the printout uh, settings something like that and from the edit menu we, ha we have also different uh, different options that we gonna uh, go through through the next videos inshallah so from here and here we have different things uh, from uh, from view menu we have the redraw that means uh, refresh refresh the lines that we have uh, drawn uh, views zoom band projection rotation something like that and from here we can change the grid step definition the step of grid uh, we can make it every one meter or every two meters something like that and uh, history we have history every step or every process that you make in uh, Autodesk robot uh, has a name here and if you have made a mistake or fed a mistake you can go back through this one this bottom undo for one uh, for one process or using this one you can uh, jump over many processes like uh, you choose this one and uh, select restore 
and you're back to that one so this is a useful item or tool okay and uh, structure type uh, from uh, geometry we have structure type the structure type is the first menu that we have opened in this software this one you can choose it but uh, I advise you not to choose your structure type when designing a building because uh, this software reads everything differently from one structure type to another one so choose the first one and stick to it access definition is the first step that you have to do in this software once you click on it you have the position of the first uh, axis uh, make it uh, zero and add second one for example for example let's say uh, five and the third one would be 15 and 20 on y axis zero the first one would be zero second one would be for example four third one uh, eight and maybe that's enough if you want uh, for z axis you can add them okay apply and close them as you see we have made we have made a grid uh, showing the as you see this is the grid defined by the user and you can change it from here and as you see the distance between this line and this line is not the same as the distance between this one and this one uh, and that's because there is a mistake here in the input data you can change it by deleting it and also deleting the second one and uh, just write uh, 10 and 15 and apply and as, as you see it's well done and we have uh, loads load types you can add what type of load that you have on this structure uh, for sure we have dead load and uh, life load and in some cases wind load or snow load so you have to add the type of load that you find okay and from here we have different uh, options that we will go through uh, in the next videos and an uh, analysis analysis type also in next videos uh, so go to tools the most important thing in this software that you have to set uh, prior to doing anything so go to preferences Choose the language and the uh, regional settings according to your uh, country or something like that. Uh, general parameters. Uh, these are the number of recently used structures. That means once you open the software, you get a number of uh, used structures or uh, recently used structures. Uh, for me, four of them will be shown and if you want them to be less you can change in from here and auto save auto save you can change it to like for example for five minutes if you walk in if you're working on battery and sometimes the battery will go dead suddenly without telling you and view parameters don't change that and from here desktop settings you can change this uh, color of uh, the background from here for example uh, deep blue or uh, dark green or something like that for me I like this one and also you can change everything for, for example the pointer from from here the color you can change it uh, to red for example and it, it's uh, shown here but uh, I think this one is better and everything everything on the screen or on the desktop you can change it from here from the color and font 
toolbars and menus um, don't change them pointer parameters you can change it from here and uh, press on accept for tools uh, we have uh, job preferences and uh, as I told you this is the most important thing which is the units and formats for me I'll choose the metric units because in this country we're using them and from these sub menus we have dimensions just set them if you if you're using the uh, metric units set them as shown here because I have done them previously um, except this one millimeters squared and as you wish okay uh, forces kilo kilo newton meter uh, mega newton per meter squared that means mega pascal these are the displacement and uh, angles temperature weight set them as shown here uh, and for materials the materials can be uh, can be chosen from here but uh, for me I'll choose the American and you should too because they are well known materials like steel concrete aluminum databases are made to choose the codes from which you're working or designing or analyzing for example these standard loads AC it's standard and if you want to add another code you can choose this one and add the one that you wish and to select it just press on it and select but for me I'll choose this one and you have to uh, reinforcing bars there are many different uh, codes but this one is the uh, is the one available by its own by default you can add another one from here as I did uh, previously and select it for me I have chosen the Egyptian code because uh, it contains the same thing as here in this country and design codes you can uh, choose them uh, as you wish but for me I'll choose these things and you can uh, just uh, set them as these ones steel connections, timber structures, RC structure if you have another one you can add it from here more and select for the country that you are, that you're living in or choose the ACI uh, 318-08-2008 or anyone and uh, after editing this thing you can save your customized settings to your uh, hard disk from here uh, no, not from here from here to your uh, desktop or any anywhere flash drive okay for example uh, custom custom settings and save and if you suddenly deleted the software and uh, install it again you can load your uh, settings from here just go to the file that you have done and open and you're done this was our lesson for today uh, in the next videos we are gonna start our, our work and design and analyze and do everything that you wish if you like this video do not forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching